modifying the armor a little bit now I've finished assembling it um, and what I've done is if I can just attach this to here you can see it a bit better I've bored out all the holes here where there's thrusters um, just to give it a bit more depth uh, I've also drilled out some tiny holes in just a few points on the armor here and uh, just down here to then well you can see that and in those holes I will put tiny beads which are these tiny metallic nail art beads and I'll do that once that's painted obviously also file down um, a couple of uh, vents here on the side of the shin armour that was uh, relatively straightforward, I just got a file and filed out these parts to shape and then sanded it down afterwards um, again, on these pieces, I've bored out holes, added some uh, more holes for these uh, nail art beads, and I've been going around the whole kit, just adding these tiny details. We've got one here on the chest. I slightly indented it here, and so when that fits to uh, some side armor, I'll just show you how that looks. When that fits to the side armor, there's again another little vent that's been created. Also, on the back of the legs, cut out this section here, and behind that, I'm going to put uh, some photo etch, which is this um, tiny metallic grid, and that's going to go behind that. There's a kind of a like a grill detail behind it. 
but again I'm not going to put this in place until it's painted so I'll just cut that to shape for now and the good thing about this stuff is uh, it's it's like a metal decal so it's not exactly um, photo etch it's just a metal decal which means it's sticky on one side which makes it very handy so I can uh, just literally inverse it and stick it to the underside underneath here and it will stay in place so don't have to bother with messy CA glue or anything like that. I've also prepared uh, a replacement for this um, waste pipe um, by just getting um, some metal rings and I've attached it to this flexible uh, kind of uh, braid wiring. It's hard to explain what it is. It's uh, Let me get a length of it to show you. It's uh, this stuff here, which is uh, like a braid for uh, a thin gauge wire. It's nice and flexible. Um, I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to fix this into place yet. Um, it's probably going to be uh, either some hot glue um, or some CA glue, one of the two. And again, I can't do this until everything is um, fully painted and assembled um, and in case you're wondering what these clamps are it's just to stop the, uh, these metal parts from coming off basically and now uh, that saves me from having to uh, paint this up all metallic and trying to sand down the uh, horrible seams on it and it keeps it nice and flexible which is all good and I'm just going to carry on now uh, working my way through all of the parts to do the arms uh, in the backpack next might add some more detail to this and um, yeah let's see how that goes so I've just done a priming coat of all the inner frame parts in uh, black enamel just did a couple of light coats and I'm gonna leave that to dry so I can start painting the metallic parts and start to prime up everything and um, that's about it for this week. Um, thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next work in progress on the Afrit. Do check out the other channels below in the description that will uh, take you to other works in progress in this Afrit build off. And uh, I will see you later. Bye bye.